Hi, I'm going to show you a basic GitHub workflow how to modify a file called readme.md via git on a non-main, non-master, maybe it should be non-main, non-master branch for example a develop branch or your own personal branch or a topic branch it's just not the main, the most important branch, it's on a different one and we need to go there too using git to show this, I'm going to use as an example this repository. It's called Basketball. It's owned by Tres and Formal, whatever that is. And there are some branches. If I click on Main here, you can see all the branches. You see that there's a branch owned by me, so I'll be working on that one. And um, well, to be able to do this, of course, you need to be logged in. Um, like I don't need to be logged into GitHub to be do the to to be doing this, but I do need write access to this repository. Like I'm a member of this team so I'm I can write things but else it wouldn't have worked. Of course you need this else you need to do other things like a pull request or a fork but we can just do it from g using git on the command line and um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I am already in the folder where basketball is. Um, if I do git status I can see on which branch I am and I'm now on the main branch which is the most important branch it's usually called main or master I want to work however on the reshell branch which is my personal branch and for that you use git checkout reshell and now I'm working on the reshell branch if I do git status I can see here that I am on the reshell branch and it's also up to date with what is online. So that's great. I'm now going to modify uh, a readme file. Uh, so the readme.md, that's the front page of your repository. And I'm going to modify it. So for that you probably use a program. So maybe on the Windows you use like Notepad or you use Gadget or there are many or Vim or, or Emacs, whatever you like. Um, I'll be using Mousepad, which is my favorite editor, but you can pick anyone you like. Let's take a look at what this readme looks like. So this is at the bottom of the file. I scroll up again just to, to show it's, to, it's we're in the right folder. Yeah, so this is basketball indeed. It's Tres and Formals, whatever it is. And at the bottom we see this line that this is content on the reshell branch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it. So I deleted it. I'm going to I'm going to save the file. I'm going to close it and I go back to my terminal. If I now do git status, it shows me that there are uh, there's a file being modified. It's not staged yet for a commit, and we need to use git add file to stage it. Well, so we do that git add readme. We do git status again to, to look what we need to do next. So we need to commit it. Um, this file is staged, like because here it shows you how to unstage. So to commit, you write git commit space dash m removed demo text because it was some kind of useless demonstration text, and then I'm gonna do git push to make it to make it go online. Um, actually, it would have told you to if you would if you would have done git status in between, it would say hey you probably want to do a git push to push it online to publish it. They will they will say. So let's take a look at the GitHub repository. So if I press refresh here, you see that recently it will show you that recently there has been a, a push to the reshell branch. That's the thing I just did. And we can view that to click on the branches. We click on reshell. And here we can see that I removed the demo text. And uh, we can take a look at the commit. Uh, it's here. Open link a new tab to see only it. And you can see what has been changed. I changed this line, I removed this line, and I removed this white space. So that's what I did. And when I'm on the shell branch again, at the bottom we should not find a line. Uh, let's go there. Yeah, so at the bottom we see that there's nothing because, well, I deleted that on the shell branch. So that means I've now showed you how to modify readme.md using git on a non-main, non-master branch. That concludes this video and I wish you a very good day. Bye!